I've been using radar and sonar for some time now to manage my media that I've downloaded through my torrent clients or my Usenet client. However, I haven't found a very good way to unraw or unpackage the stuff that I've downloaded. A lot of groups seem to still package things and it makes it a little more difficult for sonar and radar which cannot seem to unpackage anything. With my brother creating his own Unraid server recently, he discovered Unpacker. Unpacker is a great utility that works hand in hand with sonar and radar and other R's to unpackage anything that you download and move it to the appropriate place so that both sonar, radar, and the rest of the suite can, can manage it. So let's jump into that now. So starting off, you can see my Unraid container on the right and my sonar on the left here. I'm going to go ahead and jump in and show you exactly how I've been unrawing things um, or un unpackaging things prior to, to Unpacker. So the, what I was using before was Qubit Torrent was set up so that it could run an external program when a torrent completed. So this is kind of a workaround. So I've gone ahead and set up a 7-zip extraction here that allows my torrents to be extracted in place with the files uh, in, in my file structure. This works pretty well, but I have found a couple of instances where the 7-zip extraction or the Unraw extraction, I've tried both, uh, fails. And in that case, CubitTorrent isn't smart enough to know that uh, the Unraw failed, but both sonar and radar do. So they can tell that the extract file was incomplete or corrupted, and they will not import them. So that creates a problem where the activity monitor over here on sonar will show a, a problem with the download. So I haven't been really pleased with this method. With my brother setting up an Unraid server recently, he discovered that we could use a different container called Unpacker. So let's go ahead and take a look at Unpacker now. All right, so we'll go over to the app section. If you don't have this, go ahead and check out Space Invader 1's videos. He teaches you how to install this, um, this application tab, and then go ahead and search for Unpacker in the list. And I like Hoshio's. He seems to keep his um, repositories updated regularly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that and hit install. And then I'm gonna select the latest release. So this is how it looks, it says Unpacker, it's got his repository there, um, and basically we just don't want to start it yet because we need to set up some, some, uh, some paths and some variables. So we're going to hit apply, we're going to wait, we're going to download it, then we should be good to go. So now that it's complete, we hit done, we're going to go to the Docker tab, and you'll see it here in the list, it says Unpacker says version not available. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and click on it and press edit. So now with the repository open, um, we're going to go ahead and hit add another path, port, variable, label, or device. And you might be wondering how, what we're gonna add here, but the first thing which we almost always add to all containers is a path. So my path is just gonna be called slash torrents slash qubit torrent because that's where most of my things get downloaded. So we're gonna select a container path here, or we're gonna give it the actual container path for the, um, for the container, so that's what it's gonna be. We'll just call this qubit torrent. Sorry, I wrote that incorrectly. I spelled torrent wrong there. Okay, we're good. And then we're gonna select the host path, which is gonna to be torrents, qubit torrent. And we're gonna hit add. And so now we have given the container a way to access the location where we have, down, where we have downloaded our, our torrents. Um, you, would sim you would do this similarly for your Usenet location as well if you were using Usenet. So the next thing we need to do is add a bunch of variables. So you might be wondering where these variables are gonna come from. There's actually an Unpacker GitHub which gives you all of the variables names for Unraid. So what's super critical here is that the, the key matches with the value that you're entering. So the name doesn't technically matter, but to keep it uniform, I've been using the variable name on the GitHub as the variable name on the configuration for Unraid. However, you are going to need to also set it as the key. So I usually just copy what I want, throw it in here twice, and then I get the value. So um, let's go ahead and do this with LiDAR. We're gonna grab LiDAR here, we're gonna throw the LiDAR URL in, and there are no, if there's no default, it is absolutely required that you put in this variable. So in our case, we do need to give it the URL of our LiDAR server. We also need to give it the 
LiDAR API key. And then we're going to have to go ahead and in my case, because my path is not slash downloads, we're going to have to give it the LiDAR path. Now, um, the protocol defaults to torrent, which is what we are downloading. So I'm going to leave it like that. You can also put in torrent comma Usenet if you use Usenet, or you can just put in Usenet if you only use Usenet. Uh, there are several other ones like the timeout, the delete the original, and then the delete delay. So let me explain these to you real quick. So there is a timeout after you download something. After the download completes and Sonar sees that it is a completed download, it will alert Unpacker. Unpacker will wait 10 seconds to make sure that Cupid, so that your torrent client uh, releases control, and then it will go ahead and extract it. The delete org one is delete original, and that's saying, would you like Unpacker to delete the original, whatever it is that you're unpacking? We go ahead and generally leave that to false because we do want to seed back up to um, whatever service we're using. Uh, you may choose to not do that if you are using a Usenet client. Um, you can also choose not to do that if you're using a, a torrent client as well that you don't want to seed. Additionally, we have a LiDAR delete delay. Now, what this does is gives Sonar LiDAR a window with which to move and, and categorize the, the thing that you've just extracted. So that's pretty important. If you have a slower computer, you may want to ex extend this time. Five minutes is more than enough for a modern computer or a modern Unraid server. But if your Unraid server is taxed, you may want to extend this out to 10 minutes or half an hour or an hour. This is pretty self-explanatory. You'll find the link to this uh, GitHub in the description below and go ahead and use these tables to fill it out. Okay, so with all of those descriptions out of the way, the next step is to jump over to LiDAR and grab the URL. So for our LiDAR, here is our URL. I'm gonna copy that back over here. We've already started the variable here and we're gonna just go ahead and paste it. So we have um, uh, unsecure HTTP and then there's the common LiDAR port 8686. I'm gonna hit add. Now we need to at least create two additional, I need to at least create two additional variables. You can elect to create these other ones if you need them, but I do not typically do them because the default times are pretty good as far as I'm concerned. So I do need to go in here and add another variable. This time we're gonna do the API keys. I'm gonna paste that in a couple of times. Go over to LiDAR, we're in settings general. Here's the API key, we'll copy that and paste it. We'll hit add. And then let's go back to the GitHub. We do need paths as well. So the path is just going to be wherever you download your, in LiDAR's case, music to. So we're gonna go ahead and hit variable again. Very crucial that you select variable. This is not a normal path like this. You need to select variable. Go ahead and enter in the name and key, and the value should be wherever your music would be. So ours is just gonna be right there. So I'm gonna hit add. All right, I would go ahead and add in sonar, radar, uh, radar whatever other R's that you use. But in my case, we're just gonna set this up for LiDAR right now. So we're gonna hit apply, we're gonna hit done, and we're gonna go ahead and start Unpacker. Unpacker, unlike radar, sonar, the rest does not have a web console. The only thing you can do is look at the logs. And the logs are fine because it tells you exactly what's going on. <clears throat> so in this case, we've started up LiDAR um, and it is hooked into it. You can see here, there's zero items queued and zero retrieved. Now, as you download things that need to be unpacked, this particular um, log will show that items have been added to the queue and it will keep a log of everything that is extracted and deleted once it's extracted it. So it does connect directly to sonar, radar, LiDAR with that API key. So it gets information directly from the, the media management to know where, what the status of the media is along the process. Here's a little quick example before you go of what it looks like when something is going on. So it will say, it will show the unpacker queue every so often, and it'll say how many are waiting, how many are queued, how many are currently extracting, which we typically limit to one. Uh, it will tell you how many have been extracted, how many have been imported, how many failed, and how many deleted. And this uh, will keep a running log for you, so you can come in here and see if there's any problems. And this updates about once every minute. Very useful. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please drop them below. I hope this has helped you out. And uh, again, if you have any questions, please, please let me know.